What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create these sick flash transitions for your music videos. So as you can see we have a Kodak Black music video here and all we're going to do to this is we're going to add a load of flashes to create a load of energy and bring this scene to life. So as you can see if we play this without any flashes it doesn't quite flow that well so what we're going to do is we're going to add some flashes and get our flow. So let's get a new item, adjustment layer and let's drag that onto our timeline. Let's come up to effects and type in brightness and contrast and drag that onto our adjustment layer and let's type in blur and let's drag a Gaussian blur on there as well. Come over to effects controls and where these two clips meet, hit a keyframe on brightness and contrast. And then we're gonna increase the brightness and the contrast. And then we're gonna come across a couple of frames and then we're gonna reset the keyframes. So now we should have a nice simple flash. Now we're gonna scroll down and hit a keyframe on blur. Blur this by about 25 and then come back and reset the keyframes like we did on the previous one for the brightness. Now we're gonna add a transform onto this next clip, so the actual clip of the music video. I'm gonna come down and add a keyframe on position, keep it at 100 at the start, and then we're gonna add 125 at the end. We should have a flash with a zoom, and now we're gonna create another adjustment layer. We're just dragging our old one on, and then we come over to effects, we're gonna type in Brightness and contrast again, and then this time we're gonna create our brightness and contrast layer here. And then we're gonna click the brightness and contrast and then command C and command V to copy it. So it basically duplicates it. And then we're gonna come back a couple of frames and reset the both of them. And then we can drag these, hold option, and then paste it over. But if we wanna make this a bit longer, we can drag these out to make the flash last a bit longer. Just drag these out with the flash. So you can see the flash is lasting a bit longer. We're gonna add an adjustment layer. Make sure we shorten that adjustment layer down a bit. Add another brightness of contrast. And then in the middle where the two clips meet, add our, and come back a bit and reset. And then reset them again. Again, we're gonna add an adjustment layer to this one. And we're going to create a brightness of contrast, type in transform, and we're going to use a transform, and then blur. We're going to use directional blur this time for this one. Come to the middle where the two clips meet, and we're going to hit scale to 130, come back a little bit, and then reset that keyframe, and then back a bit again. So we should have a zoom. Compensate that zoom, we need some motion blur. So this is where the directional blur comes in. Come back again and then reset these keyframes. So this directional blur just sells the effect a little bit more. So there's the zoom, add our brightness and contrast back up top again, like so, and then come back and then reset these keyframes. So we should have a really quick, quick zoom. If you wanna make the effect last a bit longer, what you can do is you can just select all your keyframes and just drag them, drag them out and then the same on the out point so then the effect lasts a bit longer so now another little trick is you can type in additive dissolve and drag that in between where you want your cut to go and then if we just make this as small as we can and then we should have a little dissolve kind of flash now we're just going to create a multi flash here so we're going to grab an adjustment layer and then come to effects and type in brightness and contrast drag that on gonna reset them here and at the end and then we're gonna just paste these around everywhere doesn't really matter what order they're in hold option and you can copy them so now we should have a nice multi flash here i think we could add an adjustment layer and we could definitely add like a zoom here so come over to effects and type in transform and then let's where we want this to start and then reset it at the start and then let's zoom it out at the end grab another adjustment layer and put that over the top and here is where we want our flash to go so Again, type in brightness and contrast, drag that on, come to the middle, brightness up and the contrast, and then hit the keyframes, come back a few, 
reset and then reset and then duplicate that by command C and command V. So there we have a little zoom in and a nice flash there. So I actually think here we could probably get some movement as well. So if we go to effects and type in transform, drag transform on that clip and then come down and where it starts, we're gonna hit scale, keep it at 100. And then here, we're gonna increase this, a bit more of a zoom, which looks nice. Also guys, if you wanna save a load of time on creating these presets yourself, you can come over to my website and you can pick up the flash transition pack. There's loads of different flashes in there. If we just type in flash, as you can see, got double flashes, fast movement flashes, multi flashes, loads of different ones in there. So if we just grab an adjustment layer, for an example, and let's just drag on a multi flash here, and then let's line it up. So there we go, guys, just one of the presets. We can grab another one if we want. So let's put a one here. And let's go with like a fast movement flash. So there we just added another one. So there's loads of different presets in this pack. I use this all the time, it saves you a load of time. And as you can see guys, these create loads of energy for your music videos. So guys, as you can see, these flashes really make your video flow. If you wanna pick up my flash transition pack, don't forget to head over to my website and pick it up. Loads of different flashes in there. I use them all the time in my videos. I think I probably use them 90% of the time in my music videos. You know, flashes are probably the best transitions you can use. So if you want to save some time and you want to pick up some of my flash transitions, don't forget to check those out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.